Okay guys, welcome back to my shop. Uh, this is going to be another video uh, about the Gatton CNC build. Uh, I thought I would uh, throw a tip out here real quick. When you get ready to uh, do your router mount, and especially if you got the kit from me or, or even if you cut it yourself, either way. Uh, you know, the plans call for a three and a half inch diameter router. There's tons of them out there. Uh, you know, DeWalt makes one, I think. Uh, Bosch, uh, Porter Cable, which is what this is. Uh, but I wanted to point out that when you get, either when you get your kit from me or you cut these parts, make sure before you glue this thing together, make sure it actually goes on your router. Now this is a Porter Cable 690. I use these all the time. But they have these little tabs or little bumps or whatever you want to call them. So that's really what this was for. Uh, but I've noticed that one of them somehow got taken out of the drawing. So I guess maybe when I put that, that slot in for the T-nut, uh, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the weld nut, uh, somehow it got, uh, got removed. So when you go to put this on here, this is not going to fit on here and and I had to actually mark a spot where it was catching on that little bump and then take it to the bandsaw and just put me just a little tiny notch there and I'll zoom in on that to, to show you here but y'all want to make sure that it goes on whatever kind of router you're going to use make sure that sucker fits before you glue all of it up because it's a lot harder to uh, to fix it once you got it glued up in fact you may end up having to recut it so let me pull the camera in and i'll show you what i'm talking about here. okay this is what i'm talking about the uh this router and i think you can maybe see this has these little uh bumps on it uh, therefore when you're using this porter cable 690 with the base it uses that to uh, turn to adjust the height uh, but they do kind of get in the way when you're kind of put it on a router mount so I had to slide this on and then right there is where that one was catching so you can see that I took it over to the bandsaw and just just cut me out just a little tiny notch on both of these so now they they both uh, fit on there right and also uh, another little tip too is when you're you notice I've already got the pilot holes drilled here for the uh, screws so once you get ready to glue and screw the, the router mounts onto this this plate but another thing you need to do before you do that is to make sure when you uh, put these holes in the pilot holes make sure you countersink these to where your screw head is going to be either flush or below because this mounts uh, straight to the Z box and you don't want those heads sticking out making something where it's not uh, not plumb so make sure you get those flush or below uh, the, the surface here also with these uh, router mounts you can you know if you look at the holes you notice that they're they're different so you could actually run it like this or you could run it like this depending on you know and that will change your Z height uh, depending on how you bolt it to there and also there's four different holes uh, in the Z box uh, too, so you can use that to either use one set of holes or go up another inch and use the other set. And then, of course, you gain a little more by turning this around, depending on how you want to do it. So, just make sure when you're, you know, you're finally getting ready to glue and screw this on, make sure you put it where they're both the same direction uh, as far as the cutout, and you shouldn't have any problem getting your. Um, your router in there. I don't know if all the routers, I know Bosch and DeWalt, I think make one that's a three and a half diameter. I don't know if they have those little bumps on them or not. They may not, but uh, if, if they do, they're probably different than a Porter cable. So you may have to check the fit and make sure it will go on. That's, that's just a, the main point I want to get across right now is make sure you don't glue these things on here and get all excited and, and then go to put your router in and it doesn't fit. Make sure these things will slide over your router before you do all that gluing and screwing. And I would make, recommend gluing and screwing, uh, you know, just to make it extra strong. Uh, another thing I want to talk about in this video is, uh, regardless of whether you're getting a kit from me or you're buying uh, just the plans and cutting these out yourself, another thing you want to do before you put these uh, little Acme nut blocks onto the 
uh, uprights and all the different places they go is get your Acme nut and put that on there and use that to line up your holes and do all of that while you've got this loose. Uh, it's a real pain in the butt if you wait until you get it stuck on here like this, especially if you've already glued and screwed it. Um, it's going to be a pain to try to get those holes on there. It can be done, but I'm just trying to make it easier. So try to do that before. Uh, like I said, you can, uh, you know, if you get the kit from me, you get that nice little pocket, which really makes it nice because you can just stick that in there, mark the holes, and then you can either drill a pilot hole for your wood screw, or you could put like a 440 with uh, a nut or even a 632. I think I'm going to use 632. Uh, just drill a through hole and then use a caps nut on the other side to make sure it doesn't come loose. So, um, you know, a bunch of different options there. But the main thing is just try to get this uh, done before you glue it and screw it to the upright. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I'll just keep this one short and sweet. Just want to give you a couple of tips, uh, you know, about some of the ways you need to put this together, some of the things you need to do first before others. So, uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate all you guys uh, buying the plans and buying the kits. Uh, again, if you haven't already got your set of plans, you can get them at www.cncsidewinder.com. And if you look them over and decide you don't want to cut them yourself and you'd like to have these nice little pockets and all the extra little things that I put on them uh, when I cut them on a CNC, uh, just scroll down a little bit farther on that same page and you'll see where you can order a kit. And right now I've got uh, free shipping for all the kits uh, here in the continental U.S. So um, I don't know how much longer I'll do that, but I'll, I'll continue to do that for a little while. So anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.